Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb Manila. My name is K.O. Kosho, and today we're gonna be doing a feature for Daily Drink Mag, and it's a brewing guide. We are going to be making iced coffee, and it's an unusual iced coffee that we haven't seen a lot of tutorials for because this one doesn't involve putting any ice in your actual coffee. It's a way of chilling your beverage very quickly in an ice bath, and that means that you get no dilution when you're making your coffee. Now, I shot this video at home on my cell phone, so I'm just gonna kind of talk you through it now, but the video comes from my home, so sorry if it's a little bit more ghetto than usual, but I promise it will be helpful. All right, with that, let's get into the tutorial, and let me know if you have any questions. Let's go. So again, this is a quick and dirty brew guide for making cold coffee without any ice inside the drink. Now, what we're using today is an ice bath, and then inside the ice bath is a stainless steel metal pitcher, which we will put our coffee into later. Now, we put in 13 grams of ground coffee, so we're gonna be putting in 195 milliliters of water to a standard one is to 15 ratio coffee to water. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bloom the coffee, and, and you'll notice I'm actually brewing it like a normal origami brew. So in our first pour, we've gone up to about 33 grams, which is a little under three times the amount of, of coffee that we have in there, and we just want a very natural bloom. And now we're gonna do a second pulse and take us up to 100 ml. Now, we are brewing at 15 to 1 ratio, which is kind of my favorite or a pretty standard ratio to be brewing coffee at. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it from this brewing vessel into that pitcher in the ice, and then we're gonna stir it. So you do need a teaspoon or something to agitate to stir it when it's inside of that ice bath. All right, so now we're gonna add the rest of our water. And we're gonna do a very slow center pour all the way till we get up to 195. So I did 35 ml to blue, and then I did 100, I went up to 100 ml before one minute. And then after that went down at about a minute 30, we did a continuous pour all the way till we got to 195. And that should be a little under three minutes for our total brew time, which is ideal for this origami flatbed filter. So let's let that draw down. Now usually with flash brews or ice brews, we try to put ice into the receptacle and we're not gonna do it in this case because that has a tendency to dilute the coffee and the strength actually goes down. Do a quick tap, just to make sure we get all of the liquid out. I'm gonna take a little taste of that, just see what it tastes like, because this is actually right now a standard 15 to one pour over. Take a sip. It tastes great, the, t the coffee already tastes very good. Now all we wanna do is bring down that temperature. So I'm gonna take the coffee and pour it from the keep cup, which I brewed it in, and pour it into the steaming pitcher as cleanly as I possibly can. I'm gonna move the thermometer into the coffee and I'm gonna stir this continuously. And you're gonna see immediately that temperature dropping from about 50, 60 degrees. Immediately it's dropping and already it's at 49, 48 degrees. And this will continue to drop all the way to sub 10 degrees Celsius. All right, perfect. Now remember, I actually haven't stopped the timer, but I'm gonna let the timer run just so that we have an idea how long after that two minutes, 30 seconds, it takes to chill that coffee all the way down to sub 10 degree temperature. Now remember the ice bath was one degree. It's not realistic that we're gonna get all the way there in 10 minutes, but in theory, you could go all the way down that cold to maybe one, two degrees Celsius, but I'm not sure if that's 
totally desirable if that's what you really want. All right, so I'm just stirring and stirring and this is gonna keep going for another couple of minutes. So we're gonna do a fast forward and jump towards the end. Now, if you are not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please sign up and join our giveaway. The way to join the giveaway is to one, be subscribed because we, we do the giveaways every 100 subscribers. And then two, make sure you comment Comment anything, but as long as you comment, make sure that you include both your Instagram handle and your t-shirt size to be included in the giveaway. And then three, make sure that you are following along on Instagram. My Instagram is at Kosho. follow at Honeycomb Manila, and uh, in this case, follow at Daily Drink Mag on Instagram as well. And this will go a long way in helping us. Click that thumbs up button as well. and. Enjoy the rest of the video. At eight minutes, we've already hit 10 degrees. And now we are crossing over to the sub 10 degree mark. Now there is an element of diminishing returns at this point where it will take longer for the temperature to drop at this point. So we're gonna stop around seven or six degrees around nine and a half minutes total brew time just because we don't want to run this too long and you kind of get the idea of what's happening now i haven't mentioned this but you will notice that there is a lot of ice in this ice bath and what i've, I've actually been very careful to use filtered water with the ice and then the water that we poured in we also use filtered water and you've been careful not to contaminate that water in any way. The pitcher is also very clean. So when you're done with this, reuse the water. Make sure that you put that in a pitcher. You can pop it back in the fridge and use that for drinking later on. All right, so we're done. That's about uh, seven degrees, was it? Give the pitcher a tap and pour it into our cups for serving. And that's that. This coffee was a Camber Geisha from The Good Cup, and you can see that our serving temperature is now 10 degrees, perfect. And that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, do ask them in the comments below. Follow along on Instagram and subscribe. Our Instagram handle is at Daily Drink Mag, at Honeycomb Manila, and at Teo Kosha. And if you want to join our Facebook group, it's called uh, I Love Coffee, and it's facebook.com slash groups slash yes, I love coffee. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just do all sorts of fun stuff there, and it's good to get involved in a bigger community. And then let us know what the results are. Have you tried this method? We would love to hear about it and let us know what happened or if you have any questions. My name is Keo. I wish you good luck. I wish you good health. If you have to go outside, wash your hands and make sure you wear a mask. Peace.